This is a flying cow production. Well, hello and welcome back to Movie Battles, the newest project on The Flying Cow. As always, I am your host, The Flying Cow himself, Clay Johnson. Movie Battles is, of course, where we take the very best of my friends who said yes, but at this point, they're just great. Who cares? Um, we pit them head to head in Disney, Pixar, animation, trivia. And as always, I am joined by the answer man, Alex Lavelle. How are we feeling today, Alex? Excited, beside myself with excitement. We have recorded the semifinals. We had two great matches. I cannot wait to see what the competitors who have moved on to this final round bring to the table. Absolutely. I am, you know, I, the anticipation is all over me. Like if you could see it, it would look like lightning all over my body. It's, uh, it's crazy. But the anticipation. Yeah. Oh, ah, nah. there you go. Very good. All right. Well, before we get started, though, in the match, I want to get credit where credit is due because the format for this game, as well as several questions, the ones that I didn't write myself, were sourced from the movie Trivia Schmodown. So if you enjoy this and you would like to see it on a wider St scale check out the movie trivia schmodown go to the you can find it all there and let them know that the cow sent you hopefully by now they'll know what that means probably not it's okay but also before we get started i want to let you know in case you don't already there are two ways that you can watch or enjoy this you can join us on audio on the flying cow podcast feed we are on apple Podcasts, google play spotify or if you like to uh to see things with your eyeballs then check us out on youtube um and just type in the flying cow or uh movie battles we should be right there for you well, now that all of that is settled Alex, it is time to get into this match. We are in the finals of this tournament. The very finals. We have finished the semifinals that saw um, Hannah and Nikki move forward, which, of course, is the match that we are watching today. Nikki the Nova Baldwin and the chart master Hannah Kiefer, one of these very smart, very um, intimidating ladies, are going to be the new movie battles champion. I can't wait. In fact, we don't have to. So, no, let's get on with it. Yes, let us go ahead and get right in to the introductions for this match. Introducing first, representing those who burn brightly with a record of two wins and one knockout. Her favorite films include Up, the Toy Story franchise and Wreck It Ralph. When she's, she is undefeated. She is Nikki the Nova Baldwin. Oh, 
oh, hey guys, sorry. I'm just on the calculator on my phone, just calculating all my achievements. So Hannah can make a new chart for me, just displaying all of that. Wow, you're gonna you're gonna make your competitor do that. That's uh, qu quite a statement. If she is the master of charts, it's only fitting that's her responsibility. All right. Well, let's go ahead and bring in your competitor, her opponent, representing the list makers of the world with a record of two wins zero losses and one knockout her favorite films in the genre include beauty and the beast inside out and a goofy movie she is the chart master hannah kiefer all right back here to represent for the chart ma chart makers and list makers of the world and i would be happy to to make you a chart uh, although i think it's always best to to pass on the knowledge of how to chart to other people all right i appreciate the charitable cause <laughs> <laughs> all right well uh let us go ahead and get right in to this action this five round match with Round number one. The rules of which are as follows. In this round, eight questions will be asked from random categories. Uh, competitors will have 15 seconds to write down their answers. Answers will must be said aloud when they are revealed. Uh, all questions in this round are worth one point. If either of our competitors gets all eight questions correct, then they will have a perfect round and receive a bonus question. Competitors may have the opportunity to ask for a repeat three times throughout the match, so use them wisely. Each competitor also has a challenge in case they disagree with any of our rulings. They may challenge. Uh, if the challenge is upheld, then they will keep their challenge. There is also no stealing in this round. Are there any questions about round number one? Nope. Ready to get going. I'm ready to go. All right. Then let's go ahead and get right into round number one of this five round match. Your first question comes from the category of the dark times, films of the 2000s. And the question is, which SNL alum provides the voice of Kuzco in The Emperor's New Groove? Emperor's New Groove, that's a fun, fun movie. One of my favorites. Absolutely, it's uh, definitely out of the box for Disney. In five. Four, three, two, one. All right. Let's go ahead and let's start with Nikki. What did you say? You threw off my groove. David Spade. David Spade is correct. And Hannah. I also said David Spade. David Spade. Yeah, talk about out of the box casting for Disney. Um, they are tied at the end of the first question, one and one. Moving on to number two. This question comes to us from Pixar. In Pixar's soul, what is the name of the disinterested soul voiced by Tina Fey? Have you seen soul yet, Alex? I haven't yet, actually. It's I will say I'm not as in love with it as most people I've heard talk about it are, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. In five, four, three, two, one. All right. We will go with Hannah first this time. Can we see your answer? I hadn't a clue, so I decided to name her Solina. <laughs> it's a decent A name. fun guess, yeah. but... Not, not right. What? Uh, I know, I know, a shock. Uh, Nikki, do you have the correct answer? 
it's understandably hard to guess because it's a number 22 that is correct that means Nikki has taken a one-point lead here after question two. An early lead. Let's see if she can keep it. Moving into question number three in the CG Revolution, films from the 2010s. In Ralph Breaks the Internet, Ralph and Vanellope travel to the internet to replace what item? This is also um, one of those movies. I have only seen it twice, and it makes me cry every time. Never seen it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So let's start with Nikki. What did you say? I hope this is specific enough. The Sugar Rush Controller. Uh, I mean, the steer, in, the steering wheel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hannah. Yeah. I couldn't remember at all. So at the last second I scribbled out an incomprehensible Vanellope's outfit. I couldn't remember. Oh, all right. So that brings us to three to one. hannah has got a, a slight, uh, slight deficit, but she's only two back and we've got plenty more questions in this round. That's right. We're going to look to the Renaissance next. These films mostly come from the 1990s. For our fourth question, who provided the voice of Lumiere in Beauty and the Beast? Beauty and Beauty and the Beast. Tale as old as time. Five, four, three, two, one. Hannah, can we see your answer, please? Jerry Orbach. Jerry Orbach, correct. Nikki. I, I did not know, so I just put David Ogden Stars. Ah. A good guess, also, Jerry Orbach. Yeah. Classic musical theater actor. Yeah, and I, I was gonna have to say, if Hannah missed this one, I was gonna have to take her Beauty and the Beast card. <laughs> that would be fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so moving into the fifth question, early classics. These are films from the 30s and early 40s. In the film, what is the name of Bambi's skunk friend? You know, I had an aunt who had a pet skunk. Interesting, like I'm assuming she had the stink sacks removed. Knowing this particular ant, I not. would not assume that. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, one. All right. And starting with Nikki. Flower. Flower is correct. Hannah. Flower. Flower. All right. Hannah keeps it to a one point lead. Neither of the competitors uh, can get that bonus question, but they're both giving us a strong showing moving into the next question. That's right. For question six, we're going to ask about the classics of the 1950s. What is the name of the relative in Lady and the Tramp who takes care of the baby and dislikes Lady? This one doesn't have a fun song to say. Well, Bella not. No. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Hannah, what do you say? Aunt Sarah. Aunt Sarah is correct. <laughs> Nikki? I put Aunt Alma, and I don't know why. Oh. oh. We are at a tie game now for all. Anna has tied it up. I will say I, I was about to just start singing Lady and the Tramp, but I was like, that's <laughs> not right. Um, <laughs> all Crossover right. potential right there. There you go. But we have tied it up moving into question seven, which is the category of the decline. The decline, the films 
is the decline and wilderness films from the 60s through the 80s and the question is in the jungle book who finds baby mowgli in the jungle Five, four, three, two, one. All right. And Nikki, we're starting with you. God, I have I spelled their name like phonetically currently. Bengari. We cannot accept Bengari. <laughs> um, Hannah. Uh, I went with Bagheera. Bagheera <gasps> is correct. Bagheera. I mix up the vowels too. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, there's still still one question left. Uh, Hannah currently leads five to four. Mm -hmm. uh, but fan favorite category for our final question of this round. Coming to us from the 1940s. These are the package films. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Which package film Features an adaptation of The Wind in the Willows. Have you ever read The Wind in the Willows? Nope. Me neither. My only experience is with a Disney ride, in fact. Huh? Five, oh. four, three, two, one. Hannah, what is your answer? I figured that's got to be The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. That's correct. That ride, of course, being Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, mm -hmm. one of the things the West Coast has on the East Coast. <laughs> Nikki, what do you <laughs> say? I said fun and fancy free. Oh, all right. So that gives Hannah a two-point lead, six to four, heading into round number two. That's right. And round number two is the wheel round. In this round, the competitors will spin the wheel. Uh, they have the opportunity. They have the opportunity to spin up to two times if they do not like the uh, category they land on the first time. Whatever category they land on second uh, will be they will be stuck with. Competitors will receive four questions from their chosen category. Questions in this round are worth two points. Multiple choice is available. However, if they go to it, the value drops down to one. Competitors have 15 seconds to answer each question. If they get a question incorrect, their opponent has the opportunity to steal repeats and challenges are still in effect for this round and just to check uh have we used any repeats yeah we have not so far okay, just wanted to be up to date on that so let us go ahead and we're going to bring up the wheel hannah because you are currently in the lead you have the opportunity to choose, would you like to spin first or defer to your opponent? I'll go ahead and spin first. All right, so Hannah, this spin is yours. All right, and it has landed on early Pixar. This is Pixar films from the, the 90s to uh, all the way to 2009. Would you like to keep this or spin again? I think let's go ahead and keep this. Those are the Pixars that I do know. All right. So we are going to drop out the wheel. We're gonna go ahead and give you four questions in the round or in the category of early Pixar, early Pixar. All right, here we go. Four questions in this round. Question number one. In The Incredibles, Bob Parr's boss mentions that a company is like an enormous 
what? Oh, it's not ringing a bell immediately. I'm going to go multiple choice on this. All right. And your options. Is it A, an assembly line? B, a clock? C, an engine? Or D, a piano? I think I'm going to I'm going to guess C engine. Engine is incorrect. Nikki, you have the op- a clock. <laughs> a clock is it's my other guess. Correct for a 1 point steal. So so she had we have brought the uh <laughs> we have brought the lead down to 1 moving into the second question in this round hannah what is the name of the giant ship that humans now live on in wally should you not have chosen this category i guess gosh um i'm gonna need multiple choice again all right those options are is it a the arc b the axiom c the Aries, or D, the Argo? Crud. Um, 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 let's go with B, the Axiom. B, the Axiom is correct for one point. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. So moving forward into question number three, the penultimate question in this round, What actor, comedian, provides the voice of Remy in Ratatouille? Uh, That's Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt is correct for two points. (laughs) Voice actors, I can tell (laughs) you. All right, moving into the final question in this round. Question number four. In Toy Story, what name does Buzz assume at the tea party? Oh, I almost have it. No, I'm gonna multiple choice it. I don't wanna risk. <laughs> I would rather have one point than none. Sure. All right, so multiple choice. Is it A, Mrs. Fuzzy Bottom? B, Miss Haversham? C, Mrs. Davies? Or D, Mrs. Nesbitt? I believe it's A, Mrs. Fuzzy Bottom. That is incorrect. Oh, shoot. So, um, Nikki, you have the opportunity to steal. Question is, in Toy Story, what name does Buzz assume at the tea party? Is it A, Mrs. Fuzzy Bottom? B, Miss Haversham? C, Mrs. Davies? Or D, Mrs. Nesbitt? Is it D? D, Mrs. Nesbitt is correct for a one point deal. I do appreciate the image that Choice B gives us of Buzz Lightyear in a moth eaten wedding dress. (laughs) Uh, But yes, at the end of Hannah's questions, uh, we have a score of nine to six. That's right. To uh nikki's wheel for this round so we're gonna go ahead and spin this wheel for nikki and it has landed on oscars would you like to keep it or would you like to spin again i will keep it please all right so she is going to keep the category of oscars Moving on. So you will receive four questions in the category of Oscars. Asked by Alex. Okay. Your first question in the category of Oscars. What was the first Disney film to win an Academy Award of any kind? To clarify, does this include special achievement? It does. Then Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. 
That is correct. All right. Two points. Question two. What was the first Pixar film to win Best Animated Feature at the Oscars? It should have been Monsters, Inc., but it was Finding Nemo. Even that is truck. correct. Moving on to your third question of this round. What Disney animated film won Best Animated Feature for 2016? Zootopia. That is correct. It should have been Moana. It should have been. I don't agree. No, cost Lynn Manuel that he got. <laughs> yeah. Final question, number four. <laughs> what was the first Disney animated film to win the Best Animated Feature Oscar? To win was Frozen. That is correct. All right. I believe that was another perfect second round for Nikki. Is that correct? That was, in fact. All right. And I believe, if my numbers are correct, that that brings her uh, to, is that 14 points? It It is. 14 points to Hannah's nine. All right. So just like we said, we're trading the lead back and forth. Yeah. Back and forth. And... Something tells me that's just going to keep happening as we continue. Absolutely. (laughs) Because this is only, like we said, the second round of five. Five, if you can see my fingers. Um, So moving on now into the five round structure. So round three is a little different than we're normally used to. Round three in a championship match is the betting round. In this round, uh, the leading competitor, that would be Nikki. Uh, actually, it doesn't really matter because, uh, you know, there's no spinners or opponents on this wheel. But uh, the w- wheel will be spun to determine a category. Once that category is spun, each competitor's competitor will have 30 seconds to uh, decide how many points they would like to wager. They can wager anywhere between zero and three points. Um, Once they have uh, given us their wagers, um, the question will be asked to both competitors. And this will work just like round number one. You'll have your, uh, your board or whatever you're using to write with to write down your answers as well as say them. Once uh, time runs up and you give us your responses, if you uh, answered correctly, then your score goes up whatever you wagered. If you get it wrong, it goes down whatever points you risked. You will have 15 seconds to answer like always and repeats and challenges are still in effect for this round. So are there any questions moving into the betting round? Nope, not I believe so. Then let us go ahead and bring up the wheel. We're just going to go ahead and give that thing a spin, and we will see what category we land on. And it has landed on recent Pixar. So you guys have a couple of seconds Uh, to think about what you would like to risk. Like I said, you can risk anywhere from zero to three points. Um, Once you uh, have decided, give me a thumbs up. Are we writing these down or just saying them? Uh, You're going to put it in the chat when, when, uh, when you're ready. Okay, so go ahead, type it, but don't press enter. I'm going to count to three. When I get to three, press enter so that we can see um, what each of you have wagered. So one, two, three, enter. All right, so we have the wagers for this round. So moving in to this question for round number three in recent Pixar. 
and your question. Who voices Jackson Storm, Lightning McQueen's new racing rival in Cars 3? I have not seen Cars 3. I have not seen Cars any. <laughs> uh, not a car guy. Yeah. For, not even for, if they talk. Having recently rewatched the first one, it's honestly pretty decent. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Let's go ahead. And uh, Nikki, we will start with you. First of all, how many points did you risk? I bet two. At two, okay. So you'll either go up or down two points. What did you say? Army Hammer. Army Hammer is correct. Correct. So she goes up two points. Um, Hannah, what was your uh, risk? I also, I also, I, I risked one, and fortunately, I also said Army Hammer. All right. I was so not confident. You in. also <laughs> will go up one point. So that brings the current score to 10 to 16, 10 to 16. All right, moving into the speed round, round number four. In round number four, competitors will receive up to 10 random questions. Each correct answer is worth one point. However, incorrect answers lose a point. There will be 60 seconds to answer all questions. Competitors may pass on any question with no penalty. Once questions have been asked, any past questions will be re-asked for the original point value. Questions will continue to be asked until all have been met with an answer or the 60 second time period expires. Are there any questions as to the rules of this round? Nope, that's good. All right, so Nikki, uh, you are in the lead, so you have the choice. Would you like to go first or second? I would like to go first, please. You'd like to go first. All right, I am going to go ahead then and put Hannah into another room. All right, so your 60 seconds will not start until we have completed reading the first question, okay? Okay. So, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Which Pixar film involves a young boy named Russell trying to earn and assisting the elder uh badge? What was the second film released during the Disney Renaissance? Beauty and the Beast. In Ratatouille, what is the name of Remy's cooking mentor? Auguste Gusteau. In what year was Moana released? 2016. Who provided the voice of Mrs. Potts in Beauty and the Beast? Pass. In Soul, what animal's body does Joel accidentally end A up cat. with? A um, cat. What musical instrument does Peter Pan play? Pass. Who provided the voice of joy in Inside Out? Amy Poehler. What is the name of Jonathan Groff's character in Frozen? Kristoff. In what year was Aristocats released? Pass. Who provided the voice of Mrs. Potts in The Beauty and the Beast? Pass. What musical instrument Five. did the band play? Pass. Um, what year was Time. The Aristocats released? Okay. All right, so uh, we will uh, add those up and we'll announce it once both of you have had a chance at the answers. You will have 60 seconds to answer these questions. We are not gonna tell you if you got it correct or incorrect mm -hmm. um, until both of you have finished. Um, cool. We will not start the 60 second timer until I have finished reading the first question. We good? Cool. Yep. Okay. All right, here we go. Which Pixar film involves a young boy named Russell trying to assist and assist, trying to earn an assisting the elderly badge? Up. 
What was the second released film during the Disney Renaissance? Uh, pass. I'll have to think of In that. Ratatouille, what is the name of Remy's mentor? Pass. In what year was Moana released? 2016. Who provided the voice of Mrs. Potts in The Beauty and the Beast? Angela Lansbury. In Soul, what body, what animal's body does Joel accidentally uh, end pass. up? Pass. Okay, <laughs> what musical <laughs> instrument does Peter Pan play? Uh, the pan pipes. Uh, who provided the voice of Joy in Inside Out? Amy Poehler. What is the name of Jonathan Groff's character in Frozen? Uh, Christoph. In what year was Aristocats released? 1971. Nope, 1970. All right. Um, what was the second film released during the Disney Renaissance? Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> All right. Um, I was trying to remember Beauty and the Beast or Aladdin. Which one I, came I, first? I, think she got in for that last answer there is one that i do have a question on for you clay if number it, if 10 your pan one uh oh no that one oh, pan, I'm, pan, I'm gonna pan take pipes. she corrected herself you will take 1970 yeah oh yay i was okay. i was so worried then that i corrected myself to the wrong one <laughs> we'll see i can tell you um neither one of you answered um the number two question. Um, the second film really re released during the Disney Renaissance was The Rescuers Down Under. Well, wait. Often forgotten. Oh, shoot. No, you're right. Yeah, you're right. When are we starting the Renaissance? When was that? Uh, well, I think Little Mermaid. Mermaid. <laughs> oh, you're right. It was a yeah. 90s movie. Okay. Yeah. A Alex, uh, how did you count uh, Nikki's uh, Ratatouille question? The third question? Uh, I counted that correctly. She said Auguste Gusteau, which is yeah. his full name. Yeah, I, I I couldn't hear the first word she said very well, so I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Um, okay, and you guys, you guys both got the first question. You got up. You guys both got uh, the release date of 2016 for Moana. Um, for the voice of uh, Mrs. Potts, um, Nikki, you passed. That was Angela Lansbury. Um, Hannah, you got that. Um, soul, what uh, animal's body uh, does he end up in? Uh, that is a cat. Nikki got that correctly. I believe, Hannah, you passed. Um, the musical instrument that Peter Pan plays was the pan flute. Pan pipes works as well. Um, uh, voice of Joy was Amy Poehler. I believe you both got that correct. Um, the voice, uh, or uh, Jonathan Groff's character in Frozen was Kristoff. You, I believe, also both got that correct. And for uh, the release date of the Aristocats, 1970. Nikki, I believe you passed. And Hannah, you got it right just in the nick of time. All right. So uh, with that, Alex, what are the current point totals? In that round... Nikki scored six to bring her score up to 22. Hannah scored seven, closing the gap slightly with a current running total of 17. All right, so 17 to 22. That leaves Nikki with, I believe, a five point lead going in. That's right. The final round, round number five, the one that we usually call round number three but it's still the same round uh in round number five competitors will pick three numbers from one to 20 that correspond to three random categories each competitor will receive three questions the questions are worth two three and five points respectively competitors will have 15 seconds to answer each question there will be no stealing or multiple choice in this round. Repeats and challenges are still in effect. So do we have any questions moving into the final round of this championship match? All right, then let's do this. All right, so um, Nikki, because you are in the lead, you have the opportunity. Would you like to um sorry would you like 
uh, what what numbers would you like <laughs> to give us? For my numbers, I would like to go. Hmm. I should have thought about this before. Oh, okay, now I remember. 16, 12, and 5. 16, 12, and 5. Oh, put those in the wrong spot. That's okay. All right. And Hannah, what are your numbers? Uh, I'm going to go with 1, 14, and 17. 1, 14, and 17. All right. And as always, because uh, Nikki is in the lead, Hannah, um, we're going to be starting with you. Um, with a, a behind by five points, you're going to need to at least get your two and your three or your five point to knock it back to Nikki. So let us move, move into these questions. Your first question, you chose number one, and that corresponds to the category of the wilderness for your two point question. And the question is, what are the names of the titular characters in The Fox and the Hound? Todd and Copper. Todd and Copper is correct for two points. All right, your three point question. You chose the number 14. That category is early Pixar. What comedian and actress provides the voice of Colette Tattoo in Ratatouille? Oh, shoot. Um, I'm going to say uh, uh, Janine Garofalo. Janine Garofalo, the right answer. Oh, for, three, oh, for three points. You have tied it up and sent it back <laughs> to Nikki for her two point question. And Nikki chose number 16, which corresponds to the category of directors. Okay. And your question in that category is, what film was Brad Bird's di directorial debut for Pixar? The Incredibles. That is correct for two points. Knocking it back to Hannah to have to answer her five point <clears throat> question. Hannah, you chose category number 17, which relates to the decline. Okay, these are the films from the 60s and 70s. And your question is, who provides the voice for Sheer Khan in The Jungle Book? Uh, that would be George Sanders. George Sanders is correct for five points. So that- That was a very good poll. That brings Hannah now to uh, 27 points, I believe. That's correct. Nikki needs to answer her three to tie it up or her five in order to win. All right. So Nikki, your three point question, you chose category number 12 and that is mixed bag, mixed bag. So your question, Fearing the film would not fit their brand, The Nightmare Before Christmas was originally released under the banner of what Disney subsidiary? Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know. It's Touchstone Pictures. I would like to challenge this because this is not the kind of question they would ever ask in the Schmodown or unless there is something that you informed us of that could be asked about with studios. I, I feel um, like this honestly, is not. I'll, I'll accept that challenge because I wasn't, I was a little shaky on this question. So uh, do we have another three point 
uh, question for mixed bag. So for your three point question in mixed bag, Kingdom of the Sun was the original planned title for what film? The Emperor's New Groove. The Emperor's New Groove is correct for three points. And that ties the game, I believe. Is that correct, Alex? Uh, that is correct. It is 27 all. We are tied at 27, which means that moving to Nikki's five point question, if she can answer this question correctly, then she will win the game. However, if she misses it, then we will move to sudden death. And I only hope I have enough questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So Nikki, you chose number five, which relates to the category of the Renaissance. The Renaissance for your five point question. In the film, Beauty and the Beast, who provided the voice for the horse, Philippe? I'm not positive, but I'm going to take the best educated guess I can, Frank Welker. That is incorrect. The correct answer was Hal Smith. <laughs> okay, I would not know that. <laughs> All right, so that means that we are moving into <laughs> sudden death, sudden death. I'm excited we're here. What better way to end this? All right, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what better way to end this championship match than with sudden death? So let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the rules for sudden death. Sudden death functions very much like round one. So competitors, make sure you have your uh, writing tablets and uh, you know pens, markers, whatever you're using. Um, questions will be asked in random unnamed categories given to all competitors. Competitors will have 15 seconds to write their answers. Their answers must be spoken aloud when revealing a response. All questions are worth one point. The first competitor with a win, with a, a lead wins. Uh, competitors in this round, regardless of how many you had going in, you have one repeat and one challenge, okay? All right, are there any questions as to the rules of sudden death? Nope. All right, and once again, Alex, you and I will back and forth this until we get gotcha. it. All right, so here we go. First question in sudden death. What is the name of the mischievous cat in Cinderella? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Hannah, let's start with you. Lucifer. All right, and Nikki? Lucifer. Lucifer is correct. All right, so we're moving on. Question number two. In The Great Mouse Detective, Radigan forces Flaversham to make a duplicate of what British figure? Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Nikki, we will start with you this time. The queen? The queen is correct. Hannah? The queen. <laughs> um, which film features the songs Zero to Hero and Go the Distance? Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. All right, Hannah. Hercules. All right, and Nikki. Hercules. All right, moving on to question four. <laughs> what was the first year to see the release of two Disney animated films? Five, four, three, two, one. Pencils down. Nikki, what is your answer? 1940. And Hannah? I guess 1951. The correct answer. Your winner, Nikki the Nova Baldwin. 1940 was the correct answer answer congratulations to nikki you guys can go ahead and drop out and we'll bring you back in just a second wow we went all the way to sudden death look at that four questions deep yeah not bad not bad at all i'm uh, not sure who was sweating more the contestants or you for fear that we would run out of questions oh i was i was so freaking i was like oh i don't know because I, I, I definitely didn't have as many as I would have liked, but uh, apparently I had enough. So let us go ahead and bring back Hannah Kiefer, who put in an amazing performance. Came back from six points down to fight through sudden death. A six point deficit. In fact, I think, correct me if I'm wrong on this, Alex, but I believe Hannah is the first to answer a five point question correctly. First and only, in fact. Yeah, yeah. Uh, answer I'm, something. Yeah, uh, I, 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 gotta, I gotta say, I respect that you even know who George Sanders is. <laughs> Absolutely. Not enough people do. Absolutely. Oh yeah, that was, that was a tough one. I think I think I I should have gambled on a, a better wheel round for me. I think that early Pixar just messed me up so badly. And if I had if I had gone, I should have gone older. Like that's the thing. Once we start hitting the hitting the ones actually released in the two thousands, we stop hitting the ones that I watched incessantly as a kid. And so we get to the ones that I've seen once. Um, and so that was that was I think my mistake. If I had if I had changed that, if I had chosen, or if I might have been able to get something a little little bit closer to to what I could do, and then. Well, we wouldn't have gone to something dead then, but it, it's true. I mean, we which definitely was exciting. got an exciting match out of it. Um, I gotta mm -hmm. say though, Hannah, that was quite a performance. You have nothing to hang your head about. That was absolutely amazing. Whew. Thank you. It was it was a good time, and I'm I I feel proud of the work I've done here today. Absolutely. So, are you uh, are you gonna stay in the running? Are you gonna see if you can? Uh, um, work your way up to Nikki and, uh, you know, challenge for a rematch? Absolutely. I guess I need to go rewatch Soul because that lost me two <laughs> points today or watch Soul. I lost two points just on that. <laughs> so, so I go watch Soul, watch some package films, come back and I'll be ready. Sounds like a plan. Honestly, uh, that sounds like a good strategy for anybody looking to be <laughs> successful in this league. All right. Well, true, true. thank you so much for an amazing match today, Hannah. We will see you down the road. Absolutely. All right. So let's bring in our new movie battles champion, Nikki the Nova Baldwin. <laughs> Nikki, do you have words? I have, I can utter noises, but <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh my God. I, uh, <laughs> I'm very fortunate, uh, but in all seriousness, like I, if like I had a one, like I, I would have had nothing to hang my head on. Cause like everything she answered, like, especially her five pointer, like there was so much stuff I never would have known. So like, I was about we, to say, did you was, know her five pointer going in or? 
Oh, hell no. Absolutely nope. not. Like that, that was, that was a great poll. And she had, again, even like during the speed on some great polls of things I didn't know. And like, even, even though I got those steals in her early picks are like, those were tough though. Like I, like, it's hard to say if I would have gotten them for two points off the bat, but in all seriousness, yeah. woo! Well, and you know, I, I ha I have to say as much as, you know, sometimes, you know, it can be difficult great decision on that strategic challenge because uh you know if you hadn't said anything you would have lost points that you ended up uh needing in the right later on so uh i mean good strategy there challenging when you knew it was challengeable i mean no and i appreciate that and like for anyone watching i promise it wasn't to delegitimize anything you did but at that point like even though I had the five, it's like, I had to use it. Like just, there was nothing to lose at that point. And I figured like, okay, like there's a shot. Cause I was, I was still nervous. Like I'm probably not even gonna know the next one, but you never know. So fun, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, I mean, you're, you're the champion now. I mean, what, what do you, uh, is there anybody that you're that you think might have an opportunity to, to challenge you at all? Or oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm I'm being told that we have um a message for you, so uh, I'm just gonna let this go. Hmm. <laughs> Congratulations, you did it. You won! Yay! You're the new Movie Battles champion! Good for you! But I just have to remind you of one tiny little detail. You didn't beat me. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. You're the champion! So enjoy it, you earned it so yeah enjoy it hold this belt close because you never know one of these days you might impress me and i might decide to come out of retirement and make you famous <laughs> <laughs> bye bye wow well that guy's got a high opinion of himself yeah who was that that bespectacled man apparently he was our former champion i don't really remember him but uh i don't know must have been before my time yeah i guess i guess so i, I mean nikki do you have anything to say to that i mean if he decides to jump into the ring um that flying cow bear hope that i don't tip him over that's oh, all i have to say i'm, I'm sorry I, i'm i'm the flying cow that guy called himself r clay j i don't i don't know what you're talking yeah uh no matter what it is he he very worried if he actually watched what happened between all my matches today agreed i don't know i think she can take him we shall well actually i don't know i mean we don't he said he might come out of retirement i don't know i know how convenient like we haven't seen anything from him but he talks a huge game so is he gonna put his money where his mouth is i don't know we will have to see but for the moment you are the movie battles champion and we are excited to see what comes from you in the future. So thank you so much for being here with us today, Nikki, and we'll see you later. Thank you so much. Happy to be here. All right, well, what a match, Alex. Yeah. What a match. And then that challenge at the end, I mean, that just came out of nowhere. Well, just another twist and turn. It's what we expected from this round that Nothing could be taken for granted here. It's true. It is absolutely true.
But one thing is for sure, you guys have just seen an amazing match. Hopefully we will see many, many more. We will just have to see. But once again, thank you guys for joining us. I hope you have enjoyed this entire tournament and hopefully we'll see you in the future. See ya. Okay. All right. Just got to take responsibility. Here we go. It's all right. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. All right. Just got to wait for him to come in now. Just got to wait for him to come in. Oh, oh hello, Hannah. Hey, yeah. What, what's, what's up? Where's Nikki? Oh, 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 no, oh, sorry, one second. Uh oh, that is definitely Instagram worthy, even though I don't really use Instagram, I'm more of a Facebook person. Oh, well, uh, how are both of you? I'm doing all right, I'm recovering from, from the loss, but I'm, I'm doing all right. Good, good. Yes. Uh, Nikki got the belt, I see it looks very nice. Why, thank you. I recover every night, too, after carrying this on my shoulder. It's really heavy, but mm -hmm. I enjoy it. Yeah, so uh, I called you guys here because uh, I wanted to discuss something about your match. Great match, by the way. It was really, really good. Um, unfortunately, uh, you might notice when you watch it, um, there were a couple of mistakes um, made. Uh, number one... Um, uh, we forgot to deduct punt points when you guys missed some questions in round number four. Um, also, uh, there, there was some question as to whether Hannah got her answer in on time. And, you know, to be honest, that question wasn't a big fan of. Uh, probably we aren't going to use questions that, uh, you know, ask, you know. I, I don't get what the problem is. I mean, the the climax went along perfectly. I love the result of it. I, I, I'm in a great mood right now, no, so no, no worries. Here's the thing, guys. Uh, there were some mistakes made, but they were all on my side. Um, you guys, you went out there and you guys had an amazing match that Nikki won. Nikki is absolutely the champion. There's no question about that, but... That match was so good. It was just so good. And it was so close that I was thinking, wouldn't it be a great idea to do it again? Okay. Okay. I can, yeah. I can get on board with that. I feel like I was, I was this close last time. And I think maybe I'm, what? I'm down for that. Oh, I ah. think I could use the term with that ah. belt. I I mean, just like Toy Story 3, we came to a perfect ending. We don't need to continue this into an unnecessary... Do... Uh, really? I, that's you know, I interesting. Just feel, you know, especially with some questions, some, like I said, errors on my part, but some, some questions in round four. Uh, like I said, you won, you're the champ, but I just think that the fans would really like to see Hannah get another opportunity. I mean... It, it would be the perfect opportunity for you to get a defense, right? I guess I guess that's fair. I guess Toy Story 4 was passable. So I, yeah, I, I guess I can be on board for that. Yeah, yeah. So so here's what we're going to do, all right? We've got a, 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 a taping coming up, okay? We're going to be recording four matches. Uh, the first one is going to be between some new people, not really sure yet. Uh, then we've got a, uh, a match actually between you guys' first round opponents, uh, Patrick, the gentleman, uh, Hill, going up against Watkins, the Watkins Watkins. It's going to be a great match. And then we've got a potential number one contender match, we'll see, uh, between Jack the Good Boy Allison and uh, the fairest, Amanda Whittle Van Heil. Uh, and Nikki, if you win or lose, you'll be going up against the winner of that. So, uh, what do you guys think? I mean, it'll be fun to watch them, especially if it's a package films Iron Man, but, well, but <laughs> I don't know that. 
maybe some other time. But no, that'll be fascinating seeing the good boy if he still is good at this point. Yeah, this sounds like a good plan to me. I am all in on this. I am. I'm going to buckle down and get ready and and work on my Disney films and be prepped for the next time so that I I, I won't be I, I won't fall behind that quickly next time. All right, sounds good. Well, uh, I'm 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 looking forward to it. Yay! Yeah, me too. I, I'm not intimidated at all by this. <laughs> me neither. I'm holding on to this tightly while I have it. <laughs> All right, I'll take more fo- more selfies right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. 